Hey everybody, this is Mindy, and this is a weird video. <laughs> I'll just warn you. This is what happens when you're bored. <laughs> yeah, this, this happens when you're bored. This is a conglomeration of weird stuff. Not weird stuff, just different. All different stuff, okay? Some things were inspired by certain people who I saw with them, or they shared with me, or just things I found. It's just, okay. We're going to get into it. You can kind of see what's on the top. All right, let me move the whole pile aside and we'll get into them one at a time. Let's start with this bad boy right there. See what that is? That is a puzzle, right? And if you've watched my channel or you've been around diamond painting, you already know who this is and what this is. That is Chuck Pinson. That's Chuck Pinson's Catching Dreams in a Puzzle. 1,000 piece puzzle. Is that the coolest thing or what? It's a Chuck Pinson puzzle. <laughs> I'm so excited. Now here's the weird thing. I learned about this puzzle through my new daughter-in-law. I call her new because it's fairly new. <laughs> um, anyhow, she texted me one day and said they were at the farm store, one of our farm stores. And she saw this and I was like, okay, uh, yeah. And she also saw something else for my daughter. So I ran over there and got that for my daughter. Oh shoot, if she watches this video, she might know what that is. Oh crap, I shouldn't have said that. Don't watch this video. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, the puzzle. And I was like, okay, I gotta get the puzzle. Ran right over there, 10 bucks. I think it was 10 bucks, thousand piece puzzle. I'm going to have to do that. I used to do puzzles all the time. You know, they make great pictures. When you put them together, you can use that puzzle uh, glue and glue them together, put them in a frame. Yeah, you can do that. I have several that I have done that to. Uh, anyhow, love it. Chuck Pinson puzzle. Okay, so there's that from the farm store, okay? Farm store. <laughs> then one day when I was shopping around at Joann's, looking for some stuff, I bought a couple things, all right? I, I'm not certain why I bought these. I'm really not. I don't know why I bought these. It, I was doing the spring into spring thing with Kim, and these were all pastel colors. And you can see right there, they're staticky as all get out. I think it's shipping that does it, you guys, I really do. The shipping in these bottles makes them staticky, because when I buy them at the store, they don't do that. But, you know, there's, I'm not gonna take them all out either. Pink, blue, purple green and the top one is a yellow i had to tear the box to get in yellow and i they're not a b's or anything they're just regular drills do they have the numbers on them let's see yeah they do so i might be able to use these in a project i'm working on maybe something out of their book i still need to try that but i got those yeah like i said i'm not quite sure what i was thinking when i got them but i did anyhow I got those. All right, this we're gonna open up because look at how pretty those are. You know, I have grandkids, right? Yeah, I mean, most of them are boys, but still, but still, you know, I have grandkids. <laughs> and I thought, why not? These would be fun to do for the grandkids. Of course, I can't get into it because it's all taped up to beat the band. Hang on just a second here. Let me get my scissors. Actually, I'm going to grab this little knife. I think the knife will work better than my scissors. Because this is just a little tape right here. And right here. Now, Diamond Dots has got all kinds of stuff these days, guys. The bracelets, stickers, um, small little kits that come with frames even little ones and then of course all of the freestyle items and i mean diamond dots does a nice job they really do that's how it comes packaged here's the bracelets it's in a plastic here's the drills okay so let's open it sure glad i got got the knife out <laughs> Uh, 
Somebody hollered at me one time in my video because I used my kitchen knife. I'm like, well, it's not like it was an expensive knife or anything. <laughs> Here's directions, what you get, how to do it, what it looks like when you're done. There you go. Everything you need to know right there in picture form. I mean, these are clearly intended for children, but, you know. I'm not a child, but maybe my, maybe my grandkids are almost to the age where they might want to do these. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So I got one of the new Diamond Dots dotting pens with this that says Diamond Dots on it. Yeah, the white. I mean, it's really just a pink pen turned white, but still. And then their tray, wax. You can order these as a whole set, like five or six or maybe four or something like that. Anyhow, got a pen. Here's our bracelets. Okay, they Velcro on, right? Velcro. Easy. They don't snap or anything. Just Velcro that puppy on. There you go. Ooh, won't I be styling if I wear that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so, they, they fasten pretty good, too. <laughs> There's one in blue. One in purple and one in pink. These will take about 10 minutes, right? 15, I don't know. But they're cute. Look, they got little holes on the back, little airflow or something. Airflow holes. <laughs> and a little package of drills. How cute is all of this? Super cute. Yeah. When I get to see the grandkids again, <laughs> maybe I can get... Well, I don't know if the three-year-olds would do it. Eh, they're probably a little young. Look. Uh, we have two. Are they exactly the same? They are. I have two keys. Not sure why I have two. My lucky day. I get two. Exactly the same. All right. Okay. I bet there's going to be some ABs in here. Because Diamond Dots tends to always put ABs in somewhere. So... Right there's one. Purple. Purple AB right there. Not very many. Just a few. There's a pretty pink. Now they do have their own number system. You gotta roll with it, you know. There are some conversions, but I'll talk about that later in another video. <laughs> uh, there's a pink AB. Looks like there's gonna be one AB for each bracelet. Purple and a pink. And then a blue AB for the blue bracelet. So here's the colors for the blue bracelet, right? One, two, three for the blue. And then purple, purple, and pink goes with the purple. No, the purple's down there. <laughs> I thought maybe they had them all in order. Like the pinks and the purples and the blues were together. No, the purple goes down here. There we go. The purple goes with that one. There we go. And then the pinks are here together. There you go. <laughs> they threw me off. Anyhow, cute, right? Cute. Okay. So I might just make them for the kids. Even though two of them are boys, I don't know who would want a purple one. The blue could be a boy. I don't know. We'll see. I'll fight with this later. The sticky is not allowing me to put that back in. <laughs> sticky. And one more item. This one I'm kind of excited about. All right. I'm kind of excited about this one. Got this from Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. So I can link this one below. Yeah, the uh, pic the diamond painting in this, I can link below their Amazon. Diamond dots, maybe, I don't know. All right, this is oil pastels. Oil pastels. Crayola is stepping up their game into this signature collection that they have. I have some signature collection pencils. I love them. They're very nice. They're stepping up their game into more adult um, items, which I love that they're doing that. Here's our colors. There's 24. So I've been asking people, you know, like when you color a picture and you've got a big blank background, what are you doing with those? People are like, oh, I'm using oil pastels. I'm doing this. And I know a lot of people are using those pan pastels. Um, I don't know, with cotton and Q-tips and whatnot. But 
I'm used to this type of thing at school. As a matter of fact, you know, I probably still have some oil pastels at school that I'll probably end up bringing home at some point. But these, look at those. Look at those. Aren't they pretty? And I thought, I don't know why the papers are sliding all up like that, but they are. But I thought, wow, you know, won't this be fun? This would be awesome just to, um, yeah. Here's a piece of paper. Let's check it out. Piece of paper. All right. And I know that people are like doing different things like dotting this onto cotton balls and dabbing or whatever they're doing. They're rubbing it in that pan and just blotting. I'll figure out, I'm going to play with these and I'm going to figure out how to use these because, you know, just coloring in a solid background isn't cool. It doesn't turn out very good, but, you know, we'll play with these, but very vibrant colors, right? Very, very vibrant. So, I got some oil pastels, you guys. Oil pastels, look. I mean, it's a little uh, blotchy, but we'll play with it. Oh, look. Ooh, we'll play with this. Look at that. When you smear it, look what it does. Well, maybe that's what we do. We just smear it in like this. That's kind of nifty, huh? Of course, my finger's blue now, but yeah. What if we mix some of the blue and the green and mix those together and blot it? I, this is going to be fun. I'm going to play with these and just see what we can create. This is what you kind of want. Just a little smeared background. Look, at now see that's looking pretty. Okay, yeah. We can work with that. We'll play with those. Anyhow, that's my assortment of just stuff from like all over the place. It just, I've been hanging on to it and it's been, oh wait, I got one more. One more. I almost forgot this one as we're talking about coloring oh, as we're talking about coloring yeah how could I forget this one right all right so this now I got stuff on my finger hang on let me see if I can wipe it off on here well that's even kind of pretty <laughs> I wiped it off look I made a pretty little schmear <laughs> okay this was inspired by my daughter my YouTube daughter, Ashley. <laughs> My YouTube daughter, Ashley, was ins the inspiration for this one. I saw her unbox this, and I was like, oh, yes, I have to have this. This was $5.59 on Amazon. Had to, had to have this. Creative Haven, they do a nice job with their coloring books. Had to get this when I saw her unbox it. <laughs> because, you know, I love horses. Look at that. How pretty. Isn't that beautiful? Spellbinding designs for horse lovers. And I am a horse lover. Yes, I am. So how pretty. Look at that one. Oh, look at them. They're in love. They are. Out by the ocean. How pretty. I wish I could color like that, right? Man. Look at, they're in love too. <laughs> they're in love. They're peacock feathered horses. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you guys, I'm not going to show everything, but I mean, she did a nice flip through of this, but love, love, love some of these pictures. Love them. Okay. There's the cover. Look at those flowers. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, so pretty. I got a color more. And there's the lovers from the back. There. I'm not crazy about this group kind of, what do you want to call it, geometric and, and I don't know. It's okay, but not my favorite. I like things like this with the flowers and the horses. And the, yeah. But so, so pretty. Look at this one with an owl. And that horse has its forelock braided, and part of its mane is braided, too. How pretty. Wow. I fell in love with this. Just fell in love with it. The seashell horse. She's coming out of the ocean with her seashells. More seashells and sea urchins and starfish and things like that. Nice. 
They're out west. They're the wild horses from out west. Wild horses roaming free. Yeah. There aren't very many of those anymore, you know? Love this. Okay, this was, this was the one I was kind of like, okay. There's a horse in a horseshoe with the horseshoe the right way to keep the luck. You gotta put your horseshoe, you know, that way. Holding the luck in. And a guitar. Seriously? Oh my gosh. That reminds me of my daughter so much right there. <laughs> Um, in the forest, lots of horseshoes in the forest. <laughs> oh, look where they are. This one, let's see, I'm not crazy about these just random horses. Like they're just sailing through the air with swirls. I don't, I don't get those, but each to their own. There's something for everybody, you know? This one is like intense with the castle and everything there's a lot going on the rearing horse yes up on the planets the rearing horse that is a planet isn't it you're out in the celestial stars and yeah i think so i'm calling it out in the planets yeah just flowers oh egyptian the Egyptian horse. That would be an Arab. They came from Egypt, the Arabs. That one's also very Egyptian-y with the tassels and stuff like that. That has got a lot going on. A lot going on. It's a beautiful horse. I'd probably do it in shades of black and color. Well, I don't know. Frisian, maybe. With that tail and stuff, maybe. Frisians are black, beautiful black horses, big horses. Pretty, pretty, pretty. But how cool is this book? Yeah, I don't like that one. I'll just, I don't like that one. <laughs> Another rearing horse. Look at the mane and the forelock just going woo all over the place. A painting horse. Painter's palette, paintbrushes. That one is as sweet as can be. The little horse nestled in the flowers, sweet as can be. I want to color one of these like right now, but I want to color it like they do. I want it to be beautiful and oh, that one's so pretty too. Reminds me of one of my favorite artists. Did some horse pictures, paintings, and then there's a mommy and a baby in the woods. That one's precious. Well, you guys, that's what I got. That's my assortment of interesting items from all over the place. So I hope you enjoyed. Hope you found something there you liked. Maybe something there you want to try. I don't know. We're going to play with some oil pastels. Maybe not on this because it doesn't have a lot of solid backgrounds, but just all kinds of interesting things. Bracelets and drills and just stuff. Anyhow, I'm done rambling now. I will let you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my uh, quarantine boredom shopping. That's what that is. Quarantine boredom shopping. No other reason than that. <laughs> Hit the like button and subscribe, you guys, and I'll see you later.